Okay. Seeing none, uh, Amy, call the roll, please. Johnson? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Yes. Okay, motion is carried. The next item is the approval of the draft Java budget for fiscal year 1516. Good morning, Fran Major, Public Works Utilities Business Manager. Before you is a, a report that we have that shows the, it's, it, it's got the proposed budget on it, but it also has where we are so far with the 1415 budget. And if you look to the far right of the report, you'll see the 1415 budget and you can see um, that if you look at the bottom line that our approved budget was 59,250 and so far through um, June we've spent 44,000 so I think we're pretty safe to say that we're on track to come in under budget for the 1415 year. So I developed the 1516 budget and I always use the latest year to develop it because this project is winding down. And so I have budgeted in the management and support staff, which is like business office people's time, $5,000, which is uh, consistent with previous years, and then a little bit of office supplies. I, I've lowered the contingency. We've never really spent anything in that line item, but I just wanted to leave a little in there just in case. So I lowered that to $2,500. Um, auditing services, uh, I think because things are winding down, it's getting a little cheaper. Um, so I put 10,000 and I want to make note that um, we aren't going to be doing an agreed upon procedure um, with Kurt Misick again for the uh, auditing of the Antelope Valley agreements. I checked with NDOR and they no longer require it. So we don't need to do that. And the, uh, I've left a little in for the legal services um, and, of course, insurance that we need that. And all the um, shared costs were done with, like, the replatting and, and um, of course, the FHWA audit. So the budget is 50000 uh, for fifteen sixteen. Any questions? Questions? No. Okay. Good to see. Right. Uh, good to see this. So, okay, um, at this point, I would entertain a motion to adopt the uh, budget as presented for Java for 2015-16. So moved. Seconded. Motion is second. Any discussion? Anyone from the public wish to comment on this item? Uh, seeing none. Amy, please call the roll. Johnson. Yes. Jackson. Yes. Yes. Okay. The motion is approved. Next uh, on the item on the agenda for action, discussion and action is a landscape maintenance agreement on Antelope Valley. <clears throat> so what you have before you is a resolution that would authorize your chair to approve an agreement. This would not be an agreement that Java is a party to. Uh, we are using the administrative resolution and the interlocal agreement that exists for this Java board to say that the maintenance in this area is really related to the Antelope Valley area and the project. Uh, this particular area, in addition, is close to UNL campus. Uh, which is a defined term in the interlocal. And there were some other things that helped us kind of get this under the existing interlocal structure. Um, I'm told that originally this was anticipated to start at a particular time where we're positioned now is to get this uh, in place so we can work on the details of the contract uh, and start this on 2016, August 1, 2016. Um, so that opens up some other possibilities, but if we do this um, method, I think there is language in paragraph three that would allow minor changes, uh, and with the understanding of the board that minor can include uh, adjusting the time and some of the del delivery methods and other details, uh, I'm comfortable with you authorizing your chairperson today uh, to do this for starting date in August of 2016. Um, there were draft uh, documents circulated. Uh, I will tell you those uh, 
still need some tweaking. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're not quite to the finish line on those. Don Tott is here from the city if you have questions on some of those details and what the give and take is. But uh, they, they aren't around the primary undertakings, which are to maintain the, uh, the right-of-way medians and uh, right-of-way areas, uh, grass, sprinklers, uh, and the plant life in those areas, especially near uh, the UNL campus and Innovation Campus, uh, but also stretching up into the community revitalization area along Vine Street uh, and the area in um, Military Road around Devaney. So that's the general area where the university uh, would be providing those services beginning in August of 2016. Any questions? Any questions? No. So I think we need to make clear this is just the the roadway medians and landscaping related to the roadway and not what Parks is doing in terms of the trails and the channel, the landscaping and associated with that. That's correct. Okay. Roadway only. Roadway only. Okay. Other questions? Um, I would entertain a motion then to adopt Java Resolution 15-0709-04, uh, um, authorizing the chair to enter into, on behalf of Java, uh, the um, agreement. And again, you're not a party, so right. you're just approving it right. under the structure of the interlocal we have. Okay. So moved. Seconded. Okay, motion is second. Any uh, further discussion? Okay, seeing none. Amy, please call the roll. Johnson? Yes. Jackson? Yes. Yes. Okay, motion is adopted. Thank you, Joel. Thank you, Joel. The uh, next on the agenda is staff reports. Good morning, Chris Humphrey, Antelope Valley Project Manager. Uh, we have two active projects for the for the Antelope Valley program still, the K to Q landscape project. And there's several trees, shrubs, grasses that need to be replanted. A lot of those um, didn't survive the, the cold winter that we had, so they will need to be replaced. We're working with Nebraska Nursery and Color Gardens on that. And then also the South Street Bridge project. Um, we're working with NDOR and discussions on wrapping up that project, final documentation um, resulting from, from everything on that project. Okay. And if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Okay, questions on that? No. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Okay. Uh, any other staff reports? Uh, Citizens Committee, I know, has not met. Um, they're pretty well wrapped up when the project was essentially completed. Mm -hmm. uh, anyone wishing to talk to Java Board on any non-agenda items for today? Uh, Mike Rose. One related on the landscaping, Joel. Who would we contact? There's a couple trees that died off right there where Court Street and 15th come together. Just about the second year, there were two evergreens. And I talked to Len there in the past, and he said to bring that up so that now you got who's going to take care of that, and it's right there along the roadway, well, the parking lot. Okay. It's right there at 14th and Military. Okay. You that know, that right. gentleman right behind you in the red shirt is who you can talk to That's about the man. that. That's the well, man. Well, on our neighborhood, <laughs> you know, meeting, they were wondering about that. You bet. Uh, just was wondering when the uh, mold remediation would be taken care of in my house. It was authorized, you know, to be taken care of. There, oh, is this on? Yeah, it's on. No, I don't see the lights. Here we go. Okay, there we go. Warm up time. It's like your printer. Mm -hmm. But it was off. Oh, there it is. Let's see what we got. Zoomer, zoomer, zoomer. That was just a letter that was written that came to me and the people for the mold remediation was approved and everything. And it 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 had not been finished. And uh, 
so that we can get a certificate of remediation there that the mold basically has been taken care of and that needs to be gotten so that you can get a certificate of occupancy for human habitation you know in the house that uh, Java moved me to so that needs to be done so that we can take care of that so I can get you know insurance on the place because and to remind you how much mold there was in the house You can see it was all the way basically from floor to ceiling and there's a little bit closer and and remember when they did the inspection you can see where actually the water line was you know when that uh, before I moved in there there was a water leak and it uh, had to replace the blower motor and that and then when they did do the testing as you can see some of the mold was almost off the chart so it is it had done it has done some damage you know to my lungs and that we need to get that you know taken care of so that's what i wanted to bring up before okay. so that you know John mike we'll have to go back and kind of reconstruct where we're at on that well, and if, get you need, urban if you need development. some documents okay. i've kept a line of documents because the insurance company wanted okay. that so we can do that because we just need to get that out because there's still mold in the attic and mold upstairs okay you know a little bit and, and that way my health won't be you know more problems with my health okay we'll, we'll review that situation we'll get uh urban development back engaged on that okay and then i'll get back i'll get back to you okay not this august but september's a meeting okay right okay Should thank be. you very much okay thank you mike anyone else If not, we'll adjourn the meeting for today and our next meeting will be on the second Thursday in September.